Welcome back. We just finished talking to Baron von Glower, who had quite an interesting reaction to the Black Wolf, I have to say. I wonder what the meaning of that is. Uh, let's see if there's anything else worth noticing around here. He's got quite a nice place, but then again, he is pretty rich. I'm not sure what else to say. Okay, that counts as clicking on him, I guess. Where's the other glass? Is he holding I guess he's holding it, I suppose. Can't really tell. There's a mask here. That's a great mask. Mind if I take a look? Be my guest. What is that? South American? African? No, not, not, not African, I guess. Interesting. Is it African? No. Indian. I picked it up in Brazil. Hmm. Huh. Which makes it South American, like I said. Not Indian Indian. But American Indian. Wait a second, Brazil? Wasn't there something else with Brazil? Hmm. Von Glau says it's Indian. Indeed he did. More uncomfortable silences. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for here. Yep. Well, I hate to say it, but uh, I should go. It's been a rare pleasure. Yeah. I've been kind of isolated over here myself. I'll see you at the club tonight, won't I? Oh, right. And perhaps you'd like to come over for a drink after that? It'll give us a chance to talk some more about the others. I'd like that. Thanks. I really like the way Von Glower is portrayed. He's simultaneously very smooth and very creepy. Um, we got... Uh, actually, we have a letter to Grace that we want to post, so let's go to the Marienplatz. I guess after that we can try paying another visit to the hunting club, see if anybody is around. The uh, backpacker couple still hasn't moved, it's, I see. Alright. Let's uh, post the letter. Gabriel making sure he hasn't followed into the post office? Maybe? I don't know. That's taken care of. Yep, it is. Okay, let's um, take a look. See if anybody's in. I think I've pumped that particular well dry. Okay, apparently um, Xavier doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Or Gabriel doesn't want to talk to him, and who can blame him? Seems like we're not the first to arrive. Good night. I'm oh, surprised the uh, you creepy have guys. Or one of the creepy guys, I should say. A little wet. Oh, <laughs> I was um, visiting a friend nearby and I thought that I should take a shower before they was arrived. I was a bit mm, automatic. Too much information there.
Well. How thoughtful. All right, let's see if uh, Herr Price has any useful information. Herr Price? Yes. Baron von Glau mentioned that you're a lawyer. Yes. And fortunately for me these days, I have enough money to where I only have to take those cases which interest me. I enjoy my leisure time. And yeah, I got that impression. What do you do with your uh, leisure time? I entertain. Yeah, I got that impression too. Uh, probably a dumb question, but what sort of entertaining do you do? Do you like women, Herr Knight? That's a stupid question. I've been known to. I adore them. You might call it an obsession. The stalk, the dance, the bait, the hook. And what do you do once you've, uh, hooked him? Oh, you know. You're quite the pleasure with yourself. Or have I misled you? You're probably just getting a whiff of the past, Air Price. He's not totally off the mark if we remember um, Lolita and some of the other references to Gabriel's catches from the early part of Gabriel Night 1. But I have the impression that since Malia came along, Gabriel has been a little bit more chaste. What do you think of the club philosophy? It works, doesn't it? Does it? We're all animals, but I deny it. So you don't believe in suppressing anything? Why would I want to suppress my urges? If your body wants something, it must be natural. Well, what if you get the natural urge to uh, rip someone's throat out? Well, fortunately, my instincts run to pleasure. Of the equally sticky but less fatal kind. Well, what about those whose instincts are fatal? Uh, shouldn't they suppress? I believe that nature handles that scenario when it occurs here at night. And how does it do that exactly? Well, in the wild, when a member of society does not conform, he is hunted down and executed. End of mutant instinct. And its genetic bloodline. Well, as much as I hate to agree with him, that is a fairly accurate description of how morality evolved. But anyway... <laughs> Tell me about the other club members. Oh, they're all right. <laughs> Don't worry about Von Zell. He's a bastard to everyone these days. PMS? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. Oh, he's always been an arrogant bastard, competitive on the hunts, ambitious. But still, aren't we all? No, uh, he was decent enough at one time. In fact, he was one glorious favorite. And he was an asset as a friend. But things change. A change that indicates a werewolf transformation, like in the book? Or... Did he just become an asshole? Equally possible, I guess. And what about the other club members? Like who? Hanneman, for example. I've heard he's in line for a position extremely high up in the government. Hanneman, he is a drunk. His days as a political superstar are over. My friends at the courthouse tell me that he has been marked for early retirement. 
One less politician to worry about, huh? Well, I didn't remember uh, Germany ever having a prime minister named Tenemann, so I guess that explains why. When did von Zell begin to change? Oh, he's been getting worse for a long time. I remember a hunting trip about um, a year ago. That was the last time I remember that we were all together and having a good time. It must have started getting difficult after that. So what happened on that hunting trip, is the question. Seems like you've pretty much written Von Zell off yourself. Uh, any particular reason? Look, it's one thing when he insults the rest of us. But when he insults the Baron, nah. I heard him arguing once. When Glover told Von Zell he did acted stupidly by something or the other, Von Zell was furious. What'd he say? He told the Baron that he was weak. Bastard. I don't know why the Baron didn't get away with it. I mean, I would have said something at the time, but, well, it was a private conversation. Uh-huh. Um, when was this? I don't know. Five, six weeks ago? The club members seem to have an almost unnatural allegiance to uh, von Glower. How was von Zell an asset as a friend? He is a banker. Are you saying he loaned you money? <laughs> He's always willing to help out his good friends. <laughs> Why would anyone in this club need money? I thought y'all were models of success. <laughs> yes, well... Fortunately, I took less advantage of von Zell's hospitality than some. Hmm, remember those uh, amounts in the uh, notebook that we found in the basement that von Zell took with him? Maybe it was his notebook and those were amounts of money owed to him by the other members? Would make sense. Have you ever heard of uh, the Black Wolf? Yes. Really yes. Where? Oh, I don't know. Just sounds familiar. Will you tell me if you remember? Of course. That is not the reaction I was expecting. Ah, uh, the reinforcements have arrived. Now you'll have someone new to probe, Herr Knight. My brilliant man, good cheer to you both. Where's the beer? Good Abend, my Herr. Uh, your good evening. Good Abend. Great Klingmann has arrived. I can see why other people say he's a drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abend. Abend. Meine kleine Familie. How are you all this evening? Hello. Hello. Gabriel. I'm glad you could join us. I need to speak with Zabana. Enjoy your evening, Herr Knight. Thanks. I will. Pardon. May I speak to you for a minute? What is it, Bryce? All right, it seems everyone has arrived, and I guess we uh, can talk to some more people here. But we'll have to do so in the next video.